Good morning from Milano. What's on my mind this morning is one of the great things that has come out of this experiment that I'm doing these months being away, being out of my normal environment, being on the road, and generally shaking things up. I haven't worried myself or busied myself trying to think about or capture what I'm going through. In fact, I'm doing it here with you. I think the first one I mentioned was muscle memory. And if you missed it in it, I was talking about the fact that I just have this sense that I'm working on muscle memory, this adaptability, flexibility, regardless of where I am and what my circumstances are. I'm okay. I can find my quiet and my groundedness. And this experience has helped me build muscle memory around this feeling in my body. I don't know exactly what purpose it may or may not serve in the future but I know it's important and it's something I want to remember. And the next piece that has been bubbling up for me of recent is related to connectedness and response rate. I'm one of those people that errs on the side of staying connected. I'll send a message that says, I'm thinking about you. I'll share that you popped into my mind. And I've always been that way. Even when I was in my long-term relationship, yes, the, the cadence of my connectedness changed but at my core, I was always the person that was staying connected. Anyway, one of the things that I've noticed and actually have enjoyed, well, there are two things in this piece. One of the things is that I'm not responding to messages and emails as quickly as I normally would. And it's got me thinking about what I think is actually a self-imposed onus to respond immediately to everyone. How in the world did we get this idea that speed equals caring or being conscientious. That's actually a bunch of bullshit. And I think it's really up to us to look at that. It's interesting in the past, I have noticed when people don't respond to me. And I've also noticed when they respond much later and in a thoughtful manner. It's almost like when I first noticed it, I was like, hmm, that's interesting. Then I completely forgot that they didn't respond. And it was a form of surprise and delight when I got a thoughtful response. And I think that we can be on either side of the spectrum. We can be that person who might be offended or worried when someone doesn't respond right away. You know, in that case, I think it's really important not to take things personally. Or we can be on the other side and think, you know, I'm not gonna respond to that right now. I wanna give that more thought. I'm going to value quality over speed. And I'd say the other side of this connectedness coin is related to telephone conversations. Just yesterday, I was talking to my best friend, Mary, and we had a great conversation. And towards the end of the conversation, she said to me, I wanted to ask you, have you had your feelings hurt or have you been offended that we have not been talking as much? And I said to her, thank you for asking me, but not at all, not at all. So yes, I really appreciated that she acknowledged that just in case my feelings were hurt. And in fact, like, like me, an important piece of her love language is staying connected. Anyway, I'm sharing this because I want to say that the speed of our response rate and our level of connectedness is often self-imposed, and it's up to us to change the cadence therein. Speaking for myself, I'm certainly finding that quality over speed is something that I'm valuing a lot more. And connecting when someone pops into my head or when I'm missing them or when I'm really feeling like it, is so much more fun and real than using the cadence of connection to communicate that I care. So that's what's on my mind today. Until next time, from my heart to yours.